Allah will never forgive that a person makes partners with Allah, meaning dies upon that. But He will forgive every other lesser sin for whoever He wills. Which means everything other than making partners with Allah, dying upon it, is up to Allah to be forgiven. Rasul also said, this hadith by the way, is, is, is uh, this, this ayah I just recited in Surah An-Nisa, verse 48. In Surah Al-A'raf, verse 40, Allah also says, Surely the gates of heaven shall not be opened for those who reject our signs as false and turn away from them in arrogance, nor shall they enter paradise until a camel passes through the eye of a needle. Thus do we reward the guilty ones. This is evidence that people who died on major sin, on major shirk, partners with Allah, polytheism, will never enter paradise. Allah says, until the camel enters through the hole of a needle, through the eye of a needle where the thread goes in. Is it possible for a camel to enter the eye of a needle? Never. So in other words, you will never enter it if you die on polytheism. There is a, a weak hadith, but when you look at the entire sharia, you bring all the hadiths and all the ayat of the Qur'an together, this is how the scholars look at things. They don't look at just one thing, they look at it all. And then they bring you the final barah of it all. We find that there are four types of people on the Day of Judgment who are non-Muslim. They died on disbelief or, or on polytheism, but they will not automatically go to hellfire. Number one. They are the people who did not have the mental capacity to, uh, to differentiate between right and wrong. So they had a mental disorder or a mental illness that did not allow them to be able to think normal like everyone else. So a person who is slightly insane or unable to think. Number two, a person who never ever heard about the message of Islam. Number two. Number three, a person who heard about the message of Islam, but it came to them wrong. Everything about it is just bad. They researched, they tried, but all they got was bad. So they didn't follow it based on the fact that it wasn't the right Islam. Number four, people who received partial Islam in truth, but they said, I'm not going to continue, I'm not interested. And five, the people who received all of Islam, studied it all and said, yeah, it's nice and good and I'm convinced, but I don't want to become a Muslim. The last two, those who received partial Islam and said, I don't want it, and those who received Islam all in full and in truth, and they said, I don't want it, these two, the Quran says, they have hellfire. Why? Because they chose it. You can't work for Ford and expect Holden to pay you. As for the three others, the insane, the person who never ever received the message, and the one who received it wrong, then they will be given another chance on the Day of Judgment and tested in another way. Now, uh, the one who supports this view, many scholars, and one of them is uh, Ibn Kathir in his book, At-Tafsir.